Yeah. Yeah. Liverpool at Old Trafford on Sunday, Battle of the Hot Shots, uh, as far as the uh, Robin Hood Percy, the two candidates for, um, to be PFA Player of the Year, I will suggest at this time. Uh, the timing for uh, Robin Van Persie, perfect, came on, keeps United in the uh, FA Cup. Suarez gets headlined for a different reason, um, whether he handballed it or not, he certainly got the headline. Um, anyway, the two go head to head on Sunday. Um, how, what, do you, what do you see as the outcome there? Uh, I don't particularly rate Liverpool at the moment. I think they're, they're getting better. Uh, United beat them at Anfield. Uh, not comfortably, but you know they, they beat them. Uh, and I think United are better now than they were then. Liverpool are slightly better, but I, I just don't think they're Liverpool are good enough to to challenge United in a one-off match at the moment. And uh, I, I've got a feeling they will walk it pretty easily. Um, what sort of score are you thinking? I think about three 0 something like that. Uh, I'm still a little bit suspect about United's defence. Uh, so I say three 0 You know. Suarez is on fire, Sturridge plays, um, United defence is not convincing yet. That Sturridge signing there surprised a few people. Yeah. And he'll, have, um, he'll be looking to get some kind of response. Yeah, I think it's a good sign. Yeah, it is a good, very good sign, I think, yeah. for them. They needed somebody else. Suarez is at the day in his back for too long now. And uh, I think Sturridge is a top class striker. You think Wade Rooney will be fit to play in that game? <coughs> Not sure. Um, I think it's going to be a last minute thing, and I don't think United you know, will give anything away because they'll only keep. Could be an half decent substitute. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that wouldn't surprise me in the least. Um, if Pan Persie is going to play, whether you play yeah. well, Beck, you've only scored one goal this season. Right. And I feel sorry for him because he's putting a lot of work doing all right. Uh, Hernandez is getting the goals, you know, uh, but didn't look great at West Ham. So. Yeah, it's ironic that the two England under 21 strikers, Sturridge and Welbeck, uh, everyone thought well, that was making the best, better progress yeah. at United. And he's like a squad player now, effectively, um, whereas Sturridge is straight in that Liverpool team yeah. and he'll, he'll definitely be playing um, yeah. on Sunday. No, Sturridge has got a great chance now. I mean, he's, he's had to kick his heels at Chelsea for too long. He's got the opportunity. And like you say, Welbeck's the one that's kicking his heels now. Um, but, you know, I spoke to Danny um, towards the end of last year, and he was saying then how, um, yeah, he's not playing, he's not scoring, but learning from Van Persie and, and, and Rooney, what's that going to do for your career? Because he is a kind of type of lad to take on board and he, he won't just sort of shrug his shoulders and moan about not being inside. He will learn from them. I think if he can become a better player, he can't be. As part of the nine games, which Berg is a master of, um, he's talked about the Lusco being um, United's greatest rivals, and knocking off the perch and all that. The classic Matt Pave did that time, yeah. and down least, just as a parrot. Um, can't just mention that as often as possible. <laughs> but um, it's now really, realistically, he's not Liverpool anymore with yeah. United's greatest rivals. Put me in order, you think the greatest rivals are? I think I'd say City, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, I've been saying that for a couple of years. Anyone that United who initially thought, mm, you know, City now. Yeah. Chelsea, and Arsenal really as well. I had a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chelsea, without a shadow of a doubt. That's it. I think they're coming back now, Chelsea. Arsenal are still pretty unconvincing, but they're in, they're in a better position than they are. So, I know Fergie still talks about it being the, the great fixture. I wouldn't say because I'm a Mancunian and I work for Manchester United News, but I think yeah, this thing is the Derby is overtaking it without a shadow of uh, Sky and others talk about um, this weekend and Super Sunday, they're always banging on about that. The bottom line is, you can't get bigger fixtures than this Sunday. No. Could be an extremely pivotal, pivotal um, afternoon, couldn't it? Yeah, well, uh, you know, United could have the chance to go 10 points ahead. Um, and you look at the two pictures in isolation, and that is, that is the, probably the best, probably the, the most obvious scenario that United will beat Liverpool, as I say. And City, I say Arsenal are getting better, City uh, uh, are looking at look the business again, but you know, you, you, you don't know going to so the Emirates, they've not got a great track record there, um, and, and you wonder if they, you know, they might drop a point or, or even lose there. 
Uh, I, I mean, more so winning, to be honest. Yeah. I saw, I've been thinking about this, this Liverpool game, and he could actually park the bus at Old Trafford and, and, well, sla- and swamp the midfield, because that's United's weakest part of the team, yeah. and probably Liverpool's strongest part of the yeah. team. Um, I can see that. And I, I like to see um, Gerard again um, perform on, on that great stage, mm. because Fergie in the past has said that he was the most complete footballer, which is a kind of a message, come and join us. He never did that. Uh, and I, I often wonder whether Gerard thinks to himself when he turns up, oh, so I could have been here. Yeah, well, it's a classic case of it, like the Shearer situation, isn't it? What you, here's what you would have won, uh, because if it had come to United, his, his shelf would have been absolutely full now. Uh, and it's, it's oh, uh, he, he has won the Champions League with Liverpool, but let's, let's not forget that. But he's not won a title. Uh, and I think. Yeah, if, if United had pushed it, could have pushed it, or wanted to push it, which I think they probably did, and I think Steven Gerrard could have signed for you United, know, he would have been a fantastic signing. But, you know, and fair you, play to the lad, he's shown great loyalty to him. Yeah, to he has. Um, you think about Real Madrid on the horizon, and um, what a difference Gerrard would make into that United midfield, or indeed Frank Lampard. Yeah, possibly not now, so not now. possibly uh, I think they've maybe had their day as impact players in a big match like that. I think so anyway. Uh, but United nice have probably not got anybody. Um, you know, Giggs, Scorsi, possibly on the day. Um, Carrick, maybe. But as we, as we've often discussed, you know, they're the type of players that you, you need somebody in that game against on two matches against Real Madrid to, to take the game by the squiff of the net and dictate the play like a Roy Keane in Turin in 99 and things like that. Probably and United probably hasn't. That's him as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not bad. <laughs> okay.